I just want to give you a look at the charging procedure for my um, battery packs on my e-bike. Now, normally to do this you'd probably just go one at a time. Set it at 4.1 to 4.2 and uh, let it go. But I've decided that I'm going to use the uh, LiPo charger and probably eventually buy like, a 40 amp one. Big one, there's only to be about 5 amps. But uh, you get the general idea, I ran out of bullet connectors, but I've just got positive comes into a terminal block. I've got 13 positives come off that. Negative comes into a terminal block. I've got 13 negatives. So what I'm going to do is when I've got enough bullet terminals, I'll uh, be able to put all 13 batteries on two blocks. Set it to uh, 5 amps and uh, just come back when it's done. Basically, uh, then I don't have to worry about um, doing anything with them while they're charging. If I hook two of them up, I'll get 10 amps without having to spend any more money. Um, and 10 amps on a pack this big, like, it's going to be like 260 amp hour, somewhere there at uh, 4.2 volts. So it's a lot of a lot of amperage at low voltage, but Every balance charger I've played with, or looked at, to buy, only has 200 milliamp hour balancing. Now, on that battery there, my middle pack, they were, they were never built to capacity, so my middle pack's a bit weaker than the outside too. And, um, you know, that can take an extra two or three hours just to bring that middle pack up to make it the same as the rest of them. You can feel the wire to the middle pack get warm. So this just eliminates balance charging. I don't have any issues then. I can just charge all the batteries to 4.2. Pull them all out when they're flat. Put them all back in, charged. Done and dusted. So uh, I will buy a 13 cell, 13 S, so 13 inch series um, BMS eventually. But um, this is the way I'm going to charge them for the time being. And if I get more batteries or decide to make bigger packs, I'm just going to either solder a second lead to each of them so we can parallel two packs, or just uh, spend a couple of hours and unwrap them all and just add to the packs themselves, give it an extra row. If they're all two amp hour batteries, an extra row of five there, I can add 10 amp hour to it so I can make these 30 amp hour. And uh, we know I've been getting batteries better than better than just uh, two amp hour. I've been getting some decent ones. <laughs> Here's the box. Is it 21, 25. So 25 again. There's some good ones in my collection. I'm gonna go see my supplier during the week and see if he's got any more for me. But uh, yeah, I'll get some more bullet connectors at the moment tomorrow. And, uh, but at the moment I'm charging four of them at a time, which is still yeah, 84 amp hour, roughly, somewhere there. So uh, it keeps it busy for more than long enough. And uh, I'll just get one happening on the uh, power supply at the same time, so I'm doing five at a time. So, yeah, by tomorrow morning then it should be charged. And uh, that one there will be charged in a couple of hours too. Now, oh, I just thought I'd show you how I was going to charge 13 individual cell packs at a time. And that, that's how I'm going to do it. Pretty simple, really. Um, making use of a little charger. See, I've got a uh, cigarette lighter cord that you can plug into that charger, and technically I could do this off a car battery or in a car. Yeah, it's only ever going to be a top up, you're not going to want to fully charge them because uh, you can't pull a whole kilowatt hour out of a car battery and expect it to start again but it gives you an option that you can uh, top them up a little bit or whatever and yeah these went excellent for me today, pulled about uh, 
half a kilowatt, maybe 0.6 of a kilowatt hour out of them, and uh, like they were only at 3.79 when I plugged them on there. Let's put nearly 9 amp hour in so far. Anyway, this is how I'm going to charge them for now. Till we buy a BMS. When I buy a BMS, we're going to build a bigger battery. So, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.